Hey guys, it's Carnage6 back again with another DVD and Blu-ray and anime update. First off, I just want to say I did take your guys' advice and I did buy One Piece. You said it was a good series, so I bought it. I saw it on Fox Kids when they ran it and it, I really hated it. <laughs> but people tell me it's because the dub was really bad, so I'm willing to give the series a shot. And um, yeah, I kind of went overboard. And here you can see why. To tell you the truth, these were really cheap. I found them on Amazon Marketplace and I found them for less than people sell them new in like any store online or anything. Most of these were under 10 bucks, like some of them were like 7 bucks for brand new never opened seasons. So I just went crazy and bought a whole bunch. I hope I like the series because I kind of made a big investment in it. So as you can see we have Season 1, First Voyage, Second Voyage, Third Voyage, Fourth Voyage, let me adjust this a little bit, and that's Season 2, First Voyage, Second Voyage, Third Voyage, and Fourth Voyage. So yeah, I got plenty of One Piece to watch. I'm hoping that I like it as much as you guys do. Okay, so let me just point out that I got most of this stuff on or around Black Friday. Now in Canada, we don't have Black Friday. Um, the day after Christmas, we have something called Boxing Day. So when I get stuff from that, I'm going to also do a DVD update. But right now, this is stuff I got from the U.S. on or around Black Friday. And the first thing I wanted to show you anime-wise, I guess I'll start off by doing the anime, and then we'll move into the traditional DVDs and Blu-rays. Basically, Bandai's website was having a pre-Black Friday sale. And you can get a sampler of all their discs for like 25 bucks for like a whole bunch of them and it was really cheap and it had free shipping usually the free shipping does not work in Canada but for some reason it did so I jumped on this deal and here's what you get the melancholy of Haruhi uh, I'm not even trying to pronounce some of this stuff you know this one this one's uh, famous uh, I have the limited edition box set so I don't really need this I don't know if anyone wants to trade let me know put that over there Lucky Star number one. Never seen it. Know nothing about it. Doesn't look like my type of anime, but you never know. Flag Volume 1. And I'm knocking over all my DVDs. Uh, again, this looks pretty cool. Never heard of it. Never seen it. But it's Volume 1. If I like it, I can grab the others. This I've heard a lot of good things about. Code Geese. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen it. Let me know how it is. Uh, and I'm probably going to get the rest of it if it's any good. Now this, never heard of. Aka R16. Uh, yeah. Looks like a lot of fan service in there. This is another one I've never heard of. Rocket Girls, the complete collection. Know nothing about it. Never seen it. And here's another one I don't know anything about. Can you tell I haven't watched many, much of this stuff? Toward the Terra Part 1. Anyone's seen this? Let me know how it is. Sorry if I'm rushing through everything, but I got a ton of stuff on Black Friday, like way too much. So I kind of have to rush through it to get it all done. And this is Cutie Honey, the live action movie. If you saw my other update, I got the um, anime version. This is the live action version. I'm sure this is going to be pretty cheesy, but I'll check it out. If you thought that was a lot of anime, you haven't seen anything yet. Um, I believe I got these from Borders, either Borders or Barnes & Noble. I kind of get the two confused because we don't really have either in Canada. Anyway, they were clearancing out their anime and every one of these was $2 each and it was brand new and sealed. So I couldn't pass it up. I kind of use these as samplers to see if I like a series. I'll just buy the cheap $2 one because they never have the whole series when they have these sales. I guess because of the cheap price they sell out. Uh, so yeah, I just look at these sales and then I buy them and see if I like them. If I like them, I buy the rest of the series. So let's get going. So if we have this, Tango Tengi. I hope I'm pronouncing this stuff right. I can't pronounce Japanese, so forgive me. I've seen this on G4 TV. They used to show it. I didn't really like it then, but a friend of mine says it's good and I should give it another shot. So there you go. Cybuster. Know nothing about this except it's a giant mech show. Looks pretty cool. The Melody of Oblivion. Again, know nothing about it. 
Hope it's cool. Another ver another uh, volume of Cybuster. Okay, now this I'm really curious about because I have the old X um, DVDs, and I think this is X Remix. Can anyone tell me what the heck is the difference? Is it just that it's digitally ma remastered with 5.1 sound? Is that it? I mean, if I have the other two volumes, can I watch this in a row and it would still work? I don't know. So if you guys know, let me send me a message or something. Kayo Kaize? I think that's volume one. Yes, it is. J2. Uh, no idea. <laughs> Just look cool. The cover looked cool, so I bought it. Uh, Last Exile. I have Volume 1. Never watched it. The Wings of Reen. So, I think it's just important to say that I know nothing about any of these. I just bought them because they're stuff I've never seen. And I thought I'd give it a shot. Uh, Rumio Takashi Anthology. This is the guy who did Ranma 1 half. It's a big box set. Again, all these were two bucks. Stelvia. That's a CD standard. And this is a nice metal case. I know nothing about this series. Okay, Starship Operators. Again, something I don't know anything about. It's in a, again, a box set. Doki Doki School Hours. Yeah, this doesn't really look like my type, but for two bucks, what the heck, I'll try it. Soul Taker, one of the volumes of Soul Taker. And for some reason, even though I didn't order it, they sent me a second one, so if anyone wants to trade, there you go. And this is, I'm not even going to pronounce the series title. Another Starship Operators volume. Fafner, know nothing about it. The artwork looked really cool on it. That's why I got it. Another uh, volume of Last Exile. And this one's pretty cool. This last one, this box set, Tetsujin 28. This is based on Gigantor. That's what it was known in um, America. And it's only the first volume, the rest of the volumes are not included. But uh, it's a box set, I got it for two bucks. It looks pretty cool. I kind of like these where they take the really old an um, anime characters and like remake them. I have like Gatchaman and stuff like that, so I hope this is cool. Alright, now this next batch of anime I got off Amazon.com and they were having a sale on uh, Funimation Save Edition, so these are all complete series. Most of them were ten bucks, some of them were under ten bucks. And a couple were about like 14 bucks. So complete series for that kind of price, I could not pass it up, even though I've never seen most of these. First up, Moonlight Mile. I'm a huge sci-fi fan, so that was cool. Next, Coyote Ragtime Show. This one I'm not even going to try to pronounce. Utawarmaro, I don't know. But I've heard good things about it. Shattered Angels. Again, all these are complete series. Strain. I actually missed this one when they had a uh, Save Edition sale last time. So when I saw it was on sale again, I picked it up. I like mech stuff. Giant robots are always cool. Comic Party Revolution, I think. Yes. I have the first series. Never seen this one. And Ghost Hunt. It looked like something different, so I picked it up. And finally, uh, well, we have Welcome to the NHK. And if you saw my last update, you know, they actually bought Volume 1 and 2 of this already. So now I have the whole series. I don't need Volume 1 and 2. Uh, anyone want to trade? Hey, guys, here's something I forgot to mention. I picked these up from Amazon Canada. These are Steelbooks, Blu-ray Steelbooks. We have V for Vendetta and 300. Now I actually own both of these already but they're the DVD steelbooks and these are new Blu-ray steelbooks but they're the exact same design but these 
as DVD steelbooks. They're way rarer than this, but these are Canadian exclusives. If you want to buy them, I suggest going to Amazon.ca because no other place has them. And these are just to replace my DVD ones. Uh, when I first got the DVD ones, I loved the steelbook so much that I was kind of contemplating taking the Blu-rays out of the normal versions of these and putting them in the DVD steelbook so I wouldn't have to get rid of them. But now that they've brought these exact ones out in Blu-ray steelbooks, I don't have to do that. So that's pretty cool. In Canada, they released about 20 of these steelbooks, uh, all different kinds of movies, Kill Bill 1 and 2, Sin City, Boondock Saints, a whole bunch of them. And if you want to get them right now, they're Canadian exclusives. Amazon.ca is the easiest way of getting them. I don't know if they're coming out in the U.S. They might, depending on how popular they are here. But just in case, you might want to pick them up. Okay, and now we come to the end. This is the final stuff that I got. This is more uh, Blu-rays, normal movies. There's a couple anime in here. I got all of this stuff on Amazon for Black Friday or around that time. So let's get going. First we got The Mist. This is like seven bucks, maybe six bucks. It's an awesome movie if you haven't seen it. This has a black and white version too. Never watched the black and white version, but you know, this is one of Stephen King's better movies. Next, Super Bad. Got this for under five bucks. It's a classic too, modern classic. If you haven't seen it, you should see it. Here's an awesome, another awesome movie, another classic, Princess Bride. I don't know how this looks on Blu-ray. I haven't seen it in like 10 years, but uh, you know, for what I paid for, which is like probably under seven bucks, I'll go for it. And this was six bucks. I love The Simpsons. How can I not have the movie on Blu-ray? And here's a weird one. This was five bucks. It's got two Gamera movies. They're Japanese monster movies, if you don't know. And, you know, two movies for five bucks. I heard the transfer is actually pretty good. This company's kind of a cheap company, but they actually seem to have done a pretty good job, so I want to check that out. I'm a huge sci-fi fan. I've never actually watched this movie. Everyone tells me this movie is good. I've never seen it, so time to check it out. It was only five bucks. All right, this next movie I'm not even going to attempt to defend. It's Showgirls. Yeah, if you're a guy, there's really only one reason to watch this movie, and I'm not going to say it on YouTube. The only reason I got it, and I give it another chance, it's a cheesy, stupid movie. And it has my favorite director. He did Robocop. Robocop is my favorite movie of all time, but I hate his sex kind of movies. They're bad. Stick to sci-fi. Here's a classic, Jason and the Argonauts. I've seen this when I was a kid. A friend recommended it to me. For that, I've never heard of it, and it's awesome. I'm really glad I got it, and I hope it's really good looking on Blu-ray. Here's a Japanese film. This is like eight bucks. Genghis Khan. I know nothing about it. And here we go, One Piece. Now, I got the box sets as you saw earlier in the video. I'm wondering, is this just a compilation movie? Like, they just take things from the box set and make it into a movie? Or is this an actual new story? If anyone could tell me, because I want to know if I wasted my money or not. Next up we got Italia. Again, I've heard this series is pretty cool. This was only nine bucks for the whole first series, so uh, it's a no-brainer. you got to pick that up. Again, this was under 10 bucks. I've heard nothing but good things about this series. I've never seen it. I've heard it's really funny, so I picked it up. Again, I'm a huge sci-fi fan, but I've never seen this series. I saw the movie, I was kind of lost, so I figured I'd get the series on Blu-ray. It was like 20 bucks or something. And now we're coming to the TV series. These were all insanely cheap. Um, I mean, that's the only reason I took a chance on some of these, because I've never seen them, and some of them I don't think I'll like, but for the price I paid, like most of these were 10 bucks each. And a TV series on Blu-ray for 10 bucks, that's unheard of. So even if I don't like it, I can probably sell it and make make some money off of it. But Weed Season 1, Season 2 I think this should be, yep. Season 3, Season 4. And season five, all ten bucks. I've heard mixed things about this. Some people say the earlier seasons are better and then it gets worse as it goes on. I don't know. Next up, How I Met Your Mother, season four. This was like 15 bucks. Again, you can't go wrong for the price. I've seen a couple episodes on TV. I think it's funny, so I'll give it a shot. 
And this one is one that I really don't know if I'm going to like. It doesn't seem like my kind of TV show, Nurse Jackie. But again, I'll give it a shot. It was only 10 bucks. And this one I'm surprised I've never watched. As I said, I'm a big sci-fi fan. I've never seen it. So this was like 14 bucks for the whole series. Well, the f first season anyway. And now we come to the, like the award-winning series, Mad Men. We got season one, season two, season three, and this was all ten bucks each. So how can you pass that price? You know, I've heard it's really good, so I hope I like it. And finally, Lie to Me again, first season on Blu-ray. It was like ten bucks. So anyway, that does it for my Black Friday deals. Um, yeah, see, I told you I got like way too much. So I'd love to hear your comments, what you think about these series, what I should watch, what I should, you know, sell. I'm going to take a look at all this stuff, so I hope some of it I find some gems. But I'm sure some of it's going to be kind of crap. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time. Bye.